Well, I have a lot to say about Redfall, the game, but we're gonna focus on the technical performance here. We've seen a lot of Unreal Engine 4 games absolutely struggling with PC performance and optimization. Here's the latest Unreal Engine 4 game. And right now I'm getting a very good frame rate. I'm at uh, 115 to 120 frames per second. And I am at native 4K resolution with the game completely maxed out. So we are at 4K. We are on the epic quality preset and we have upscaling disabled. Now I'll actually talk about upscaling real quick because this is I think one of the highlights of the game is that unlike some recent games, this not only features uh, DLSS, but it also features AMD's FSR 2, it's 2.1 rather than 2.2, the latest version, but still good to have it. And we also have Intel's XESS. Now XESS runs best on uh, Intel hardware, but is available for other GPU users to try out, as is um, a FSR, which runs pretty much the same on everybody's. And then we've got DLSS, which also has a DLAA option, which is nice to see, meaning you don't always have to use it to improve performance by upscaling. You can also use it to as a high quality anti-aliasing. And we also have frame generation available in this game. And uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and kick it on. Uh, I mean, I didn't write here, um, but let, let's, uh, let's get a baseline because at the bottom left-hand side of my screen, you can see the average PC latency. Uh, which is about 22 milliseconds right now. Again, bottom left-hand side of my screen, the NVIDIA overlay, because I always like to mention that while uh, usually increasing frame rate decreases latency, frame generation does not do that. It's actually gonna slightly increase latency. But in this game, I think it's definitely accurate to call it slightly increasing latency, because you can see now that the, uh, uh, give it a second to kind of, uh, Settle in, we're at about you know 32 milliseconds of latency now, down to 29. You know, that extra latency, it, it feels completely fine to use, but I will also say it um, isn't really necessary if you're already getting a high frame rate. Frame generation is kind of this weird feature where it's kind of a win more feature. It, it's best when you're already getting a high frame rate. And so, um, Anyway, when you go ahead and kick it off, um, you know, the game still performs well. And anyway, so <laughs> it's here, you can use it, and it does work well because you're already at a pretty high baseline frame rate. Whether or not you feel like it's uh, useful is another note. So anyway, we should probably get out into the actual open world area before testing too much here. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to, uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to go back to no upscaling, so we're at, uh, native 4K resolution, epic settings on the 4090. And uh, I, I do also want to mention that I feel like one of the weak points in the game is I just feel like the characters just feel very dead and lifeless, right? Am I wrong here? So while the game's performing well, I just feel like on close inspection, you know, there's a lot of recent games where you look at it closely and everything still looks pretty highly detailed, right? And the character models and, and all that, and I get that they're going for a stylized look rather than, than complete realism, but like the hair strands, I mean, barely seem to move. The eyes and faces just seem very dead. Maybe I'm being a little bit picky here, but I guess all I'm trying to say is I'm not overly impressed by the, um, the overall visuals that we're getting, especially on close inspection. Now, from farther away, when you're out in the open world, I do think we're getting a little bit uh, better of a look. This looks perfectly serviceable, in my opinion, um, even if I'm not absolutely blown away. Now, how does it perform? Again, this is on very high-end system, but we've seen games like Jedi Survivor even struggling on a high-end system with stuttering and all that. Now, if you look at the frame time graph, we did just see a little bit of a stutter. It's not particularly noticeable. Um, you can kind of tell it happens if you're not staring at a frame time graph, but it's not especially intrusive, at least on my system. So I do want to mention that. There's a little bit of a stutter on this frame time graph there as well. But like I said, if, if I'm not staring at the frame time graph, it's not especially noticeable. And I think what's going on here is this is transitioning between zones in Unreal Engine. So. I believe when a large area like this is created in Unreal Engine, again, I'm not a game developer, but my understanding is that there are 
Uh, it's kind of created in zones, and as you transition between them, see there's a little bit of a spike on the frame time graph there again as well as we transition back this way. So I think it's really just transitioning between zones. I haven't noticed a lot of shader compilation stutter myself. Um, so overall, honestly, I think the performance has been uh, pretty good. It's really the game itself and just like uh, that I'm less impressed with and just kind of what it, you know, it look, like I said, it, it looks okay. I'm not, I'm not blown away by the visuals <laughs> by any means. Now, let's talk a little bit about, uh, this is not a graphics or performance issue, but I am just going to mention it. So on the mouse and keyboard, I'm, I'm annoyed by the mouse sensitivity option in this game. So there's a mouse sensitivity option, but as far as I can tell, there's not a separate one for when you're aiming or scoped. Now, maybe I'm just blind. Are you guys seeing it? I'm not seeing it. Maybe it's under a different menu, but I mean, I'm under mouse keyboard controls. I never checked under controller. Um, because why would I? I'm on a mouse and keyboard. Yeah, I don't see it here either. Now, why does this bother me? Well, personally, when I play a first-person shooter, if I go from the center of my mouse pad to the edge of my mouse pad, I adjust my mouse sensitivity, so that's a 180-degree turn. Now, I'm not saying you need to have that exact same thing, and I was able to do that. The problem is, when I'm scoped, I also want that to happen. But now I'm only getting this, okay? Now, some people want a lower sensitivity when they're scoped for the increased granularity of control, but personally, it throws off my aim, and I like the exact same thing to happen all the time when I'm using a mouse. When I'm using a controller, I would like this behavior, but when I'm on PC, I would like to uh, adjust those options separately, and I'm not able to do it. Anyway, that's just a little bit of a gripe about the PC version of the game, and maybe some of you just don't care. But <laughs> let's talk a little bit more about the graphics options available. So again, using upscaling, I can show that what I'm actually hitting is it's very easy just to hit a um, CPU limit, but at a high enough frame rate that I think it's fine. So by going down to DLSS performance, we're now internally rendering the game at 1080p epic settings. And you can see that my CPU in this scene was around 170 FPS. As I walk around, it can vary a little bit, drop down to 150. Uh, the stutters are a little bit more noticeable when you're CPU limited. So if you're not CPU limited at all, you might not even uh, notice them at all. Um, but anyway, we can get a pretty high frame rate here on the CPU. So it's a high-end CPU, and it's delivering a high performance. So. I've got nothing to really complain about there, and again, I'm happy the, the upscaling is available in order to, to test that out. And um, so the other thing I wanted to look at, though, is what if we actually aren't upscaling? What if we're looking at the just overall quality settings? Now, you can flip through epic, high, medium, low, but if you go all the way to the right, you get to custom, where you actually do get some graphics options. I saw some some uh, reviews of this game mentioning that there weren't really graphic settings. Well, you have to go to custom to see the graphic settings. Not that there's a whole lot available. Now, I will say that if you're just using the graphics presets, you can uh, get some more performance. Like if we go all the way down to low, we can see that more performance again is on the table here. But honestly, this looks really bad, but what looks really bad to me is the flickering and, and, and the uh, unstableness of the image, which is clearly just that the anti-aliasing has been turned way down. Now, obviously, look at the draw distance on the shadows and things like that. That is clearly a problem. Apparently, I need to fight some people. And apparently, I can't, I can't aim. Apparently, I only have 10 bullets. Okay. Um... Oh, a vampire. Okay. All right, guys, you, you get a little action sequence before I start talking more about uh, about things. Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, the game has uh, has fighting. That That is a thing that it has. I don't have ammo. That seems like a bit of a problem. Um... I wasn't intending to actually enter into any sort of uh, combat here. I literally have no bullets. <laughs> um, okay, can we complete what I was saying? Uh, is, is, is there ammo? <laughs> okay, anyway. Sorry, guys. Was not prepared uh, for this. As you can see, though, things don't look particularly good. Um, we've got some grenades now. How do I use a grenade? I have not played this very much. Guys, what's my what's my what's my throw grenade button? 
Ah! <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Um. Well. Totally forgot uh, what we were talking about. Oh yeah, I don't think the anti-aliasing looks very good uh, at, at low settings. So I was going to mention that you should just turn anti-aliasing. <laughs> back up, uh, even if you're going down to the low settings, because the anti-aliasing doesn't have a huge impact uh, to performance. These guys are still just chasing me. Okay, um, well, I was going to change the anti-aliasing, and I'm going to do it anyway. I don't think the game actually pauses, so they're going to be uh, just killing me. So, yeah, they killed me, because even though I'm playing this game in single-player mode, it does uh, it, it is a uh, multiplayer available game, so whatever. We'll, we're just gonna come back to, to base, since I had no ammo. And as I was saying, I think uh, it doesn't make sense to use the presets, even if you're gonna switch everything to low, uh, you should turn the anti-aliasing back up, because it will look significantly better. I don't feel like I had a whole lot else to say about this other than maybe talk about the VRAM. So you can see that right now, the longer I've played, the more VRAM the game is requesting. You can see that right now, uh, if you look at the top left, the green memory line, um, it's, it's showing 18 gigabytes allocated and 16 gigabytes on the per process usage. Um, now, while that seems like a crazy amount, keep in mind that a lot of times games will try to use VRAM if it's there. And I think that's what's happening here. I don't think you actually need 16 gigabytes of VRAM um, to play this game fine. Uh, I haven't tested a lot of other GPUs uh, uh, significantly, and I don't have time to edit them into this particular video, but I will say that I tried GPUs with lower VRAM at Epic settings, and I was not noticing massive performance issues or anything. So I really think that it's just trying to use a lot of VRAM if it's there, and I'm on a 4090, so it's there. I, I don't think it's causing massive performance issues, um, uh, at least that I noticed in my testing. I also looked up some other reviews uh, of people testing out a, a wide variety of GPUs, and it seemed to run fine. Um, I think Tom's Hardware reported that w once they got down to the 6500 XT with four gigabytes, uh, they did start to see textures not loading in properly. So I, I believe that what this game will do is, rather than not perform well if you don't have enough VRAM, it might just be one of the games that just won't accurately load in textures. Um, but I don't think, think that it's going to be significantly noticeable on GPUs with reasonable amounts of VRAM. Um, so again, while you're seeing a massive VRAM number in the top corner of the screen, I wouldn't be overly concerned about it affecting your performance in the game. Anyway, you guys can see as I've ran around here that those, uh, again, the traversal kind of load, loading zone stutters are really kind of the only issue I'm running into here. Yes, I'm just showing you high-end hardware, but I think this does scale down pretty well. Like I said, this is 4K max settings, and uh, we're getting good performance on the 4090. So if you're playing on, you know, 1080p max settings or even lower settings on a much less powerful GPU, I don't think breaking 60 FPS is going to be any sort of an issue. And like I said, if you turn down the settings, uh, just kick the anti-aliasing back up. Because even the epic settings look really terrible if you uh, have the anti-aliasing all the way down. So here I'll show you, again, epic settings on everything, but I uh, but when you go to low, it disables the anti-aliasing. So I've disabled the anti-aliasing. And you can see now that everything looks very, very uh, flickery and shimmery, especially on the trees. Um, so yeah, that's definitely a thing. So I would recommend uh, having the anti-aliasing turned up regardless of uh, where you're at. Anyway, I think that's all I got to say about this game. Uh, honestly, I'm just not blown away by it, but at least it's not the most stuttery, terrible uh, PC port I've ever seen, unlike many other recent games. Are the shadows really only drawing in right there? Look at this. Is that because I've been adjusting settings? They're currently set to epic. I wonder if when I went to low and back to epic if things didn't properly reapply. I think that's what's happening here. Anyway, um, when we did the initial testing, I did. it was on a fresh, uh, fresh start on the game. So uh, that would have been the actual epic settings and performance until we switched down to low settings and back. Anyway, that's that. I think... Um, I think that's all I gotta say. See, the AI, they just sort of like stand there, you know? 
Anyway, I hope all of you have an excellent day.